the Detroit Auto Show has featured the launch of some breathtaking new vehicles, from huge trucks to some of the fastest production cars ever made. But much of the buzz has centered on cars that are not even here. Many of the main automakers are on the verge of releasing a number of new electric vehicles. Cadillac will launch its first EV in 2021. Lincoln and Ford are promising electric options on their upcoming models. Volkswagen's ID Cross will go into production this year. The company has committed to bringing 15 electric vehicles to the global market by 2025. Right, our goal is to pull people into electric vehicles, uh, and the concept behind this is when we industrialize a, a platform at scale, uh, we'll start to see those scale effects and create a price position that's actually compelling for consumers. The only EVs launched at this show were concept vehicles, such as the Entrans from Chinese automaker GAC and Nissan's IMS. Although Infiniti's first electric vehicle effort, the QX Inspiration, failed to make it onto the stage at launch. You can't see it, but it is here. The company is promising an electric production model in the near future, as it targets the China market. I think there is a lot of energy towards EV. Uh, all manufacturers in, in China, including the Chinese manufacturers, are really, really going full speed on electrification and EV specifically. I think there is a big push towards charging station and infrastructure, which is a critical component of it. They're going to give all the, all the rational reasons for people to buy an EV. The excitement around electric vehicles within the industry is clear to see, with a host of EVs set to hit the market. But there are questions as to whether the overall infrastructure in many countries can cope with such a change on a larger scale. How long did it take to set up the infrastructure for the, the petrol stations, the gas stations, to get the diesel to the right places across the planet? We're really in the same place when it comes to electrification. What is industry doing? What are the existing infrastructure providers doing about actually providing the electrification needs in terms of charging on these longer journeys? The auto industry looks set for a radical change in the coming years. The race is on to be ready for it. Dan Williams, CGTN, Detroit.